not awake at all? No, I don't. She's not breathing right now. Okay. All right. I'm going to talk to you through CPR. Take a listen to that. A very mm -hmm. panicked little girl calls 911 when her mother stops breathing. Yeah, thankfully, a calm voice on the other end of that phone was able to help guide her through all the steps to save her mom's life. Yeah, and tonight, that 10-year-old girl got the chance to meet the dispatcher face-to-face. -face. And our own Emily Longnecker was there for this very special reunion. Take a look. My mommy's not breathing! My mommy's not breathing! It's a 911 call. Indianapolis Fire Department dispatcher Chris Mayfield will never forget. A little girl on the other end calling for help because her mother wouldn't wake up. All right, I'm going to talk you through CPR. Count out loud for me. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Mommy, come on! Hearing her crying about her mom not being awake and not breathing. And you just feel that, that pain and that fear that she had right at that moment, that she was scared to death. Friday, that pain and fear were gone, replaced by smiles and laughter. Hi, Haley. I'm Chris. Nice to meet you. As 10-year-old Haley McKinney met Chris, the woman behind the voice who became Haley and her mom's lifeline when every second mattered. I am so proud of you. You know how brave you were. You did such a good job with me on the phone. She helped me save my mom's life. She just told me how to do CPR and chest compressions. Yeah, it was really scary. I was just thinking, like, please wake up. I don't know what to do. And she went to wake up, so I just had to do what I had to do with her. And you were so brave, so brave. And like I said before, there's a lot of grown-ups that can't do what you did. To meet her and to see how strong she is and how strong she was that day, it's just so impressive and it really just makes my heart swell. And after already giving Haley the priceless gift of helping save her mom, this is something I want to give to you. Another gift, a heart pin her boss gave Chris the first time she talked a 911 caller through CPR saving someone's life. I didn't know she would give away something that valuable and special. To like me. But to Chris, who's taken thousands of 911 calls in her five years on the job, Haley isn't just anyone. You're a hero. You are a hero. She's a caller who became Chris's partner in saving a life. You help yes. me? Yes, I'll be your sidekick. You be the hero. You're Batman, I'm Robin. Okay. <laughs> Now, Haley's mom did, in fact, have a heart attack, and mm. she is still in serious condition at IU West, but Haley has been to see her every day, and now Haley wants to be a nurse because really? she has been around all of these nurses who are helping her mother, yeah. and she, she thinks that they're so wonderful. She's so grateful. So. Nursing's a great <coughs> profession great for Haley, profession. she decides, and we'll be praying for Haley's mom Absolutely. if she recovers. Absolutely. Thank you for Thanks, that story, Emily.